with all the news from WTCN-TV's expanded news-gathering facility. WTCN-TV, Channel 11. This is Channel 11 News at 10. It's a little like shoplifting, but this crime is going on at gas stations. Minnesota motorists filling up and driving away without ever paying. Minnesota is one of the few states where you can still pump your gas without paying for it first. That's because most service stations here believe that honesty is the best policy. But some Minnesotans simply aren't being honest. Tonight, Carolyn's Carolyn Mungo shows us how it's done and what happens when people pump and run. Pump one is ready for a fill. Pump 15 is ready. I've watched them pump the gas, and they get in their car and they drive away. I mean, they just drive away. Head out on the highway. It's fast becoming an art form in a state known for being, well, honest. The honor system is held in such high regard here that Minnesota is one of only a few states left that actually allows you to pump your gas before you pay. Do you have any gasoline today? This holiday station on Franklin Avenue in Minneapolis gets three or four drive-offs a day. And if you're watching them, then they clean their windows, they clean off their, their tail lights, they clean off their headlights, and then they'll watch you again. And if you're not looking at them, they jump in their car and take off. That's exactly what we saw happening at the Easy Stop gas station at Johnson and Broadway. Clerks say dozens steal gas here every week, giving the name of the place a whole new meaning. We saw four drive-offs in one afternoon. This couple was one of them. Watch as the woman starts to pump her gas, but quickly goes behind a barrier away from view. Meanwhile, the passenger takes his time washing the windows, all of them. Even when she steps out to talk, she seems to realize that's not a good idea and steps back behind the pole again. A short time later, they leave. So we went to look for them. Is that you? Oh, yeah, that is me. Okay, we saw you pump $17 worth of gas uh -huh. and then leave and not pay. Uh -huh. Why? We were just wondering why you didn't pay. I'm, he must have forgot to go pay for it. That's the only reason why that would happen. Because I see you kind of hiding by the pole, you know, and, and see you kind of looked over and hid behind the pole and then, and then took off pretty quickly. Because I, I had a kind of a bad day with my brother. I've been just had a lot of uh, family problems and stuff, and I, I don't know, it must have just slipped my mind. But When it comes to money, a lot of things seem to slip Alicia's mind. She's been evicted twice in the last six months for forgetting to pay her rent. But she told me she does intend to go back and pay for the gas. Welcome to Holiday Pump 4 is ready for a fill. Most stations have implemented microphone systems just to let you know they know you're there. But even that's no guarantee. Pump 9 is ready for a fill. If you had eyes in the front of your head and eyes in the back of your head, you'd be okay. But you don't. You have one set of eyes and they don't happen to be back here, which is for most people out there, what they wait to see is the back of your head because as soon as you turn your head, they're gone. Most drive-offs tend to happen at pumps closest to the exits. That's where we found this man. Doesn't seem to be bothered by what's around him, barely even looks toward the store. Couple of minutes later, he's gone. We figured most people who pump and run would at least fill up. Hey, it's free, but that was not necessarily the case. This man pumped less than $5 before he drove off. We tried looking for him, but he wasn't the owner of the car. This woman is. Well, it really makes me mad. And I'll have to call them and get it straightened out to keep me out of trouble, because I wasn't involved with anything. So I just loaned my car out to a girlfriend. A handful of stations in the metro require you to pay first, but it's rare. Most companies flat out refuse for fear they'll lose even more business if they institute such a policy. We find that it's much less convenient for the customer to come in and have to prepay, and it, we're, just, we're just accepting any drive-offs that do happen as a cost of doing business. And if gas companies are turning the other cheek, police departments aren't far behind. Minneapolis will send out a complaint form to scare you into coming in and paying your debt. 
but in the larger scheme of things... It is not the highest priority, that is absolutely sure. I mean, how many squad cars can they technically put on the street just to look for a car with a license plate number? They can't. And even if the police track down a license plate, the cashier had better be able to identify the driver because the officer can't exactly charge a car with a crime. The whole system clearly has its loopholes. And as we found out, they seem to be big enough to drive through. Carolyn Mungo. Gas companies maintain that drive-offs don't drive up the price of gas for honest customers. They insist it's just not a big enough problem to affect prices.